Hello everyone, sorry for the delay in this week's video, but yesterday was actually my birthday, so I was too busy celebrating to record on Saturday. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Today's tutorial is my original design, the once per day switch, and it only allows a redstone signal to pass through for a part of the day, and you can adjust how long the signal stays on for. So grab a daylight sensor, a comparator, redstone, repeater, and then this piston and light and redstone blocker just to show how this thing works. So I'll put a repeater into the side of it, and we're going to build it a little differently than in the screenshot, and I'll explain why later. So put your daylight sensor one block of redstone away from the back of the comparator, and then put a repeater going to the side of the comparator, two blocks of redstone feeding into that repeater, and another daylight sensor. So how this works is the daylight sensors only put out a certain amount of strength based on the time of day. So there's a part of the day where it's only one signal strength strong. So that's like this. That's when the signal is on. And then when it gets stronger later in the day, it cuts that signal off like this. Right here. And that's what happens automatically every day by using the daylight sensors. And here's a sped up time lapse version of how the machine works. Spiders are just there so you can tell how fast it's going. So as you can see, signal's only on for one block. And then as soon as it travels for two things of redstone, it cuts the signal off. So here's a version from the thumbnail which uses only one daylight sensor. And the only reason I don't like this is when, at least on console edition, if you have power directly next to a repeater, sometimes it can cause weird feedback loops and cause it to stay on when you don't want to. But most of the time this will work just fine, I just made it the other way just in case. So there are a few different ways to adjust how the switch works. If you want to adjust what time of the day it happens, leave only one difference in the signal strength. So if the left is or the right is five, the left should be six and then just move it out as far as you want it to. And the further away your daylight sensor is, the more sunlight it will take to produce that strength. So it would produce the most strength at noon, and then early in the morning when the sun is just barely up, it might only produce one like we did in the beginning of this. So we can move it all the way out until the furthest one is 15. So that's the furthest a redstone signal can travel. So the left one is the further one, so the left can be 15 and then the right is 14, and that would work just the same. You can also invert it like this, it's uh, set it to nighttime here, and you can do it with an inverted daylight sensor, and it works exactly the same, but during the nighttime instead of the daytime. And you can put the daylight sensor closer if it's inverted, all the same. So the last way you can adjust it is by adjusting how long the signal st stays on for. So currently, since there's only one difference, it only takes one signal strength worth of time, if that makes sense, to cut off the power. If you put it like this, then it has to travel two instead of one. And because of how daylight sensors work, that means it'll stay on longer. So if you put it way out here, it'll stay on for almost all of the day. Not right now, because you see it is actually strong enough to reach, but it would stay on all morning, basically. So that's how you adjust how long your signal strength works. So that's the once per day switch. It's a simple build, but very useful. I use it for my auto farms, since I only wanted to harvest once per day. So I use them to only have the piston pushed out a small part of the day, and the plants can grow the rest of the day. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for new tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you for watching.